In JavaScript, we have two different types of variable types. The first one is primitive types and the second one is reference types. So, the primitive types are the simple types. For example, string, number, uh, boolean, undefined or null. And the reference types are array or object. So, let's take a look at both types. So let's first take a look at the primitive types and let's see how it is different from the reference type and vice versa. So let's first create a variable, uh, let's say a equal to 5 and let's create another variable and give it a value a. Now if we output the variable a and b to the console, we can see the value on the right here 5 and 5. Now what if we change the value of variable a to 10? What do you think the output will be? We can see the value of a is 10 and the v is still 5. So what actually happened is in the case of primitive types if we copy one variable to other it actually creates another copy of the variable so it no longer is attached to that variable but it is different in the case of reference types so let's say uh, let's take a look at the reference type array so let's say if we have a array a 1 2 and 3 and let's create another array 2 and uh, let's oh, assign it the first array. So now if we output these arrays to the console, we can see first the values are same. What if we add another value to the first array? So let's say arr dot push, um, let's say 6. So now if we output these variables, the output is 1, 2, 3, 6, 1, 2, 3, 6. So even if we push the value to the array 1, the array 2 also updated. So the second variable actually holds a reference to the first variable. So if we change the first variable, the second variable also updates. But it's not the case with primitive types. Here, if we update the first variable, second variable value remains unchanged.